Let's see. All right, good. All right. There was a brief little oops a doozle there, but I'm back. That was a. A brief moment of panic. But just brief. All right. There we go. That's the eraser. Not the thing I needed. So...
Yep. No idea what what made the stream crash, but I've, it's back, so it does not matter. Yeah, they came back, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, you look so happy they came back. <laughs> you guys have pleased my grandma. She's happy with you. Good job, chat. Well, I think I'm actually really close to being done with the sketch layer. Oh, thank goodness, because this has been taking forever. No, there we go. I think I should try and find out from my grandfather uh, what persona he would like if I made him one. That way he can go ahead and also be in, a, in the family persona portrait next time. Grandma, what do you think Papa would want his persona to be? It's a question for him once he's finally up, up. A deer? <laughs> That's what I'm kind of thinking of, like a deer or an elk. 
which makes this family portrait very strange. How do you take a deer or like an elk and a bear and somehow end up with a raccoon and a fox as grandchildren? Such strange gen- genetics. See, now I just got the tails left. And I forgot Jack's. I forgot to give give the wings the wings. Oh well. older sibling does not have wings in this picture. We're just going to go with you can't see them because of all the tails. So, J- <laughs> older sibling persona is a three tailed purple fox with wings. Okay. It's fantasy. <laughs> Clearly, there's a bird somewhere in there. Whatever dad ended up being. He's a Mika. Yep, there we go. Dad's an eagle. <laughs> that actually does make sense. A lot of sense for him. And then just the boop boop. Well, 
the, uh, one moment. I gotta check something. Ah, yeah. No. My brain died! Insert a photo. I'm just going to insert a picture of older siblings for Sona. Because I'll need to color swatch from that. Looking at this sketch, you can clearly tell who put the most thought into their persona. And it was definitely the three-tailed fox with fluffy wings. Because I'm just like, I'm going to be a raccoon because I like garbage. Older sibling, I'm going to be a three-tailed fox. Purple, I'm going to have wings. I'm going to be so cool. And they are. And then my grandma, you decide. <laughs> Papa, we decided for him. Unless he decides he wants something different, in which case I'll do what he wants. Because it's his persona. Persona. Now I got the color swatches for Jax. And time. Ooh, my back popped. That had a little bit more. It did. Mine would. It went crunch, crunch, crunch. Well, now for the long and arduous task of lining it all. This is going to take a while. I'm 
I'm going to try and enjoy it as much as possible. Which is convenient, because I actually enjoy doing the line art portion. Inking it in. And this is certainly one that will have a lot of effort. me it'll take a while also me just speeding through it take it back line art won't take that long <laughs> So y'all are in for a treat. It sounds like my dog is starting to snore. He has the cutest snores. Well, I really am just speeding through it, though. Fastest line art in the West. <laughs> Midwest. They don't need to know. Now we're at the exciting part of the stream, where I just bust out the line art. <laughs> I 
actually really like this picture. One thing is for sure, I think it's safe to say that I'm pretty decent at line art. I think the key to line art is just being confident with it. Oh, shoot. That's right. Wait. Oh, that's the layer it got drawn on. I should be done with the line art pretty quickly. Because I'm almost done with it.
Well, that's... Have you ever go military service? I have not done military service. Uh, my dad, he was in the Air Force. Which is, I think that's why my grandma was saying his persona would be an eagle. Um... I'm somewhat distracted by the line art. <laughs> it's just like so zen. Well, next year I have to go for 24 months. Kill me. <laughs> no. Don't die. And I don't commit murder. Though if someone hurt my dog, I would reconsider that and commit murder. No, no hesitation. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, the military service goes well for you. Um, they haven't served yet, Grandma. Once they've served, I'll thank them. I'm hitting 18 next year. Enjoy taxes. <laughs> no one enjoys taxes. <laughs> Except the IRS. I know, I'm still waiting on that one W-2. Oh, I still got to do the tails. This is going to be a lot of lining. <laughs> also, happy early 18th birthday. I hope adulthood treats you well. Little tiny catch lights. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Is that a wow to see you sure you not female? Yes, I am sure I'm not female.
because my voice apparently sounds kind of feminine. This is some pretty fast line art in it. <laughs> I think I'm almost done with the line art. <laughs> and sorry, in a cave looks great, by the way. Also got some emojis ready. <laughs> nice. Uh, were you suggesting uh, that... Did you know hyena have a dick? Yes, I know that hyenas have dicks. <laughs> And were you suggesting that uh, that the background for this one be a cave? Yes, I know. Even the females. A cave would be a good background for this. That's why most cool in a oh you're in a cave okay I do think a cave would be a fun background for this Grandma, what do you think? Cave? My grandma always wanted to live in a cave. All right, it's going to be a cave. think might possibly be almost done
so many, many, many little details. got the almost all done it's almost done Little Gizmo is starting to snore. Why is it not? Okay, I'm just going to go in. There we go. It didn't want to zoom in. Which was just like a touch annoying, but... In that little tiny pot. And I think, if I'm correct, I think this tail is the final bit that needs lined. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Line art definitely took, I think there's too many fur. <laughs> eh, maybe, maybe not. But when I did, uh, my older sibling did indicate that they wanted their fur to look like that, so... Very, very fluffy.
Well, you done. I like to have the outside have a really thick line, so I'll be done in about two seconds when that's done. Because it doesn't take very long to do that outer line thick. Water gel, water caffeine, <laughs> caffeinated water. The really thick outer line is just a style thing I enjoy. It definitely... Well, it took a few moments to get that, all that, you know, lining done. It took significantly less time than the sketch layer took. Too thick. You might say too thick, I like it though. And this is just like the outer lines. You should made an emote about you drinking coffee. I definitely will at some point. I've got plans for emotes. I also got to look up how to implement the emotes. Because once I know how to do that, it'll be no issue. And then there'll be emotes coming out the wazoo.
You sh- see. Also this. Yes. You should make made the heart for a smaller heart. I could have. It's something that, you know, maybe next time I'll do it smaller. All right. Now for coloring it in, which will take a while. Whew. I'm going to go quickly grab a refill on my coffee. I'll leave you uh, with my grandma for the moment. Looking great. Nice. Thank you. Just make sure the screen doesn't go dark. All right, another full cup of coffee. Mm, thank you. It does look nice. Here's the line art, Grandma. You should draw your mom. Mm. <laughs> ah. Picture of Lucifer. <laughs> Uh, my bio mom is a piece of shit. So, here, I'll draw her real fast. I'll draw her real fast. Stinky little turd. <laughs> there we go. That's my mom. <laughs> bio mom. <laughs> but if we're talking about the person I consider my mom, I already drew her. My grandma's like my mom. She was more of a mom to me than my bio mom was. That is for damn sure. Alrighty. I'm going to start coloring it in. How many therapists have I been to that said that bio mom was a monster? <laughs> All of them? <laughs> Could you show your mom in your chat because I'm about to end this whole man's whole career? <laughs> I don't have any pictures of her. And she lives like totally different state than me. I haven't talked to her in since Two thousand and seventeen. But yeah, anyone who learns anything about my bio mom, that is usually their response. They're like, So uh, uh where does she live? Asking cause I feel violence in my veins. <laughs> <sighs> 
Is it me or drawing the paw is hard? It can definitely be hard. Paws and hands, very tricky. Unfortunately, my friend falls in the fam. Yeah. It happens. Bad things happen to good people. Hopefully your friend uh, ends up being able to leave that situation. It's definitely not fun to be in that situation. And just know, if your friend needs to know it, it definitely gets better. Um, one day she almost... Mm. Just, just make sure to be there for her. And let her know that she doesn't deserve the bad shit that's happening to her. You know. And it, it does get better. Once you leave, you know, your abuser in your past things do get better, like, a lot better, you know, and the longer it's in the past, the better. Good. And that sounds like your friend has a good boyfriend, too. And from the sounds of it, your friend has a good friend, Wolfie. It sounds like you're a good friend. I'm glad that she has you and her boyfriend. Good. Sometimes that's the thing that just helps the most, knowing that someone is there for you and that there would be people who would miss you and that, you know, moving out is a very valid option. Yeah, it can definitely be a shock, you know. I know that, uh, and people who are there for you when that stuff is happening, there's just a bond that you have with them. Because it's like, they became your safe place to be and your safe place to go and they become kind of like your anchor. Hopefully it works for them. There's snow. <laughs> Yo. 
going back to bed. All right, chat, say night-night to my grandma. She's going back to sleep. I'll show you the finished version when you get back up later, Grandma. I'm almost I was about to say I think I'm almost done and then I realized oh wait it's not just my grandma <laughs> I got me and my sibling I'm going to do briefly a separate layer for the feet because I do them little sockies on the feet. Alrighty. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
I'm glad she has her boyfriend. Sounds like he's good for her. I know as soon as I was able to leave um, my bio mom's house, I went to live with my grandma. And I've been living with my grandma ever since. So I've been living with my grandma since 2015. It definitely helps to have like loved ones who can provide a safe place to go to. Where did this dot come from? There we go. Yeah, it definitely is sad. Parents are supposed to protect you, but a lot of times they become the exact thing you need protected from. Wait a second. Here we go. Hmm. 
There we go. What's one place you always wanted to go? Okay, so that's a real easy one. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Um, Cause like, everything about Japan, you know, the food, you know, the music, you know, the anime, uh, just, yeah, but it's like, yeah, never go to North Korea, <laughs> um, it's just, and then it's like, there's so many beautiful parts in Japan, too, you've been to South Korea, awesome, yeah, I hear it's really pretty there, too, But uh, if I had to choose some place, um, yeah, same time in Japan back in 2018. Cool. I think if I had to choose some place in the United States, um, oh, I forget where it is. I think it's in Michigan. But in Michigan, there's some town that has like a potato festival every year. And I freaking love potatoes. Love potatoes. Favorite, favorite food. Yeah. <laughs> and I just realized the other day that the microwave in, in this house, it has a button for potatoes. You just tell it how many potatoes you're cooking and it'll cook them. So I've used that button a lot recently like favorite button on the microwave and the thing is like there's so many different ways you can cook a potato it's it's just it's the best my opinion is potatoes are the best <laughs> That and like I have some digestive issues and potatoes don't tend to bother my digestive issues very much. So bonus points. See, I'm getting so close to being done with No, I'm not close to being done. <laughs> I keep thinking, hey, I'm probably getting close to being done with coloring. And then I realize, oh, wait, I've got this whole area to color as well. Uh-huh. Little bloop o tongue. Bloop. Oh, I missed this spot. There we go. Let's see. And then I just got the claws. Don't know. Depends on what you said. Am 
My grandfather is awake now. I can't quite tell what was said because I'd have to open it up on like an internet browser. Once my grandfather's done doing what he's doing, I can ask him what his persona would be. See, I think we're ready to start with the fox now. I do know that uh, I do have some, um, when setting up the, uh, the chat, it gave me some options. Um, so it could be that uh, one of the filters that I enabled may have filtered out your message. But it was just like, I went with those like basic filters that, you know, so I wouldn't have to come up with a list of words that would need to be banned. So it could be that, you know, you might have just stumbled across, like, some sort of, like, phrase or word that, you know, the default filters didn't like. Ah, it could be that the um, the auto filters may have interpreted it as a sexist remark because I did enable the auto filters for things like you know to filter out things like that. Um, was your message once again asking if if I was a chick? Because if so, once again, no. Not a chick, not a girl. Literally the female, no. Hmm. I might have to check after the chat, uh, eh. after the stream, I might have to check to see what it was that got filtered out. Um. because I'm streaming from my iPad. So and it only lets me access, you know, those settings from like a computer or a desktop browser. Have anyone question why you sound like a female? I am 25 years old. Yes, there's been people who've questioned it. And 
if I sound vaguely annoyed any time it the question gets asked, it's just because I've spent like 25 years dealing with that question. Yeah. I have over the years had to deal with some bullying over it. Papa. I call my grandfather Papa. What? Question. I drew a fursona for Grandma and for Jax and for me. What would you want yours to be? Grandma's a bear. I'm a raccoon. And Jax is a, is a fox. What would you be? What would you... What, yes, what animal grandma. would you want to be? Yes, because she's a mama bear. Raccoon. Oh, ra grandma's a what? Grandma's a bear because she's a mama bear. I'm a raccoon because I like garbage. Jack Jax is a wolf. Is a is a, a fox because that's what Jax wanted to be. What animal ah. would you want to be? <laughs> yeah. What animal would you want to be? A squirrel. a squirrel you heard it here my grandfather would be a squirrel <laughs> we thought elk we were wrong he's a squirrel which means there's still time to add him to the family photo <laughs> Okay, ready the rail gun, where's the target? This will chase me all over the place. Well, where will I put my grandfather in this photo? I suppose I can go oh, ahead and, like, stick him on my grandma's head, her shoulder, or just, like, cling into her shirt. On the shoulder. All right. Who are these people who add me on Snapchat? Let's see. My phone is running low on battery now. And my phone charger is janky as hell. It's got like masking tape on it. something yeah okay
Now I am taller than... Yes! I'm no longer the shortest persona in the family. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, I gotta double check something. Okay, yeah, those are black. Hey, Wolfie, could you knock it off with the female stuff? It is getting kind of annoying. Thank you. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, yeah, I could try deepening it. And that's something I've been working on over the years. It just, when I'm doing art, I tend to concentrate more on the art than how my voice sounds. So... Like, if I tried, I bet I could get fairly deep. I just realized I don't know what color I'm going to be making uh, my older sibling's shirt. I guess I'll make it the same color as their eyes. Do it one more time. I want to hear it. Like deepening the voice. Or were you talking about the... Uh, like, my brain just died. Yeah, okay, deepening the voice. Um, give me one moment. Wait, are you also a 90s kid? Hell yeah! Commercials in the 90s were weird. Kind of miss them. What do you think the 96 of my username is? <laughs> I was not creative when I came up with uh, my username. It's like, mm, I'll take my name, the year I was born, there we go. Yeah. Something just went wrong. What? <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember when people started switching over to DVD, and I've, I've been drawing paws since you start stream. <laughs> It takes a while to make them look the way you want. I remember when DVDs started becoming a thing. And my dad, he was so sure that they weren't going to catch on. And they weren't going to be a thing. And I remember the, like. 
it was it was funny because they caught on, they became a thing, and now they're becoming outdated. Uh. There we go. Yeah, that'll do for a shirt. Yep. I just realized I didn't finish coloring myself in. <laughs> I forgot my tail. Actually, I once went to um, a fair and one of the things I ended up winning from one of the carnival games was a red and black raccoon tail that I could clip to my pants. And so I did. And I kept that thing forever. And I think it's currently in a storage unit if I still have it. But if not, I can make it. I can make one. Fun fact, the strongest that can survive a fall is a Nokia phone. Yes! I used to have a Nokia phone. Oh my god. Like, that was the first phone I think I had was a Nokia. And, yeah, we got all these. And that's how you become a furry. The Nokia to furry pipeline. It's real. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to do this little bit red. Or were you talking about uh, the winning the, the tail at the fair? Yeah, you win a tail at a fair and that's how you get your fursona. It's whatever tail they give you. <laughs> oh, I just realized I'm going to have to shade all of this. That phone is basically a bedrock in real life. Yeah. Man, I, th I kept that phone for so long after I stopped using it. And I... Just because, like, you know, everyone keeps their old phone unless they're trading it in. I just realized that's a thing people do nowadays, trade in their old phone. Oh my god, I feel old. Mm. I'm going to do these collar for pants. Because I'm trying to limit the palette for this. Just because the less colors, the less messy. I think I threw a Nokia phone once and got better signal after. And my older sis sibling, they didn't provide me any sort of details about what style their fursona had when it came to clothes. You should try blue color. Is this not blue? Ah, oh, it's cyan. I can fix it. Let's see, just up the blue. Make this a clipping mask. Is that good? I tried purple uh, for shading when I was... Um, so I drew my grandma's fursona. And I tried purple for shading and it ended up not giving me the effect I wanted. But neither did my blue. Uh, so I ended up using pink. <laughs> 
So I think it'll continue to be a just whatever produces the result I want. Let's see. Oh no, yeah, that definitely looks way better. Actually, one moment. I don't want the cyan. I want this blue. It just is vibrant. I like the vibrancy of it. Thank you for suggesting I, I make the pants more blue. Makes sense since pink, duh. Have you? I haven't tried Ibis paint. Um, I tend to find a, uh, an art program that I really like and then I stick with it. Uh, there we go. And what does it say? Cyan blue. <laughs> I went from cyan to cyan blue. Um, when it comes to desktop, I tend to use uh, Paint Tool Sci. Uh, I downloaded that to my laptop back in 2016. And then when I got my iPad, I specifically got it because I wanted to use Procreate. So those are Paint Tool Sci and Procreate are the two I use. I used Ibis. I stick with it since. Yeah, it makes sense that, you know, we like to stick with... um. With the uh, the programs we use at the start, just because, or you know, the programs we've been using for a while, I think it's because they they have a sense of familiarity to them, and let's see, ah, because you're using Android, makes sense that too. Let's see, I'm gonna grab there. That'll be the background color. Because I need to go ahead and go in and add the white. How did you become a furry and what, when and why? Um, so, it's kind of funny that I've, I've been like, the other day when I said I've probably been a furry a lot longer than I realize, I, I truly mean that because I've, I've always loved anthropomorphic art, um, and I ended up becoming a furry because my older sibling explained what furries were, and I was like, oh, well, I might be, and then I actually sat down and thought about it, so I'd say maybe I've officially been a furry for maybe a couple of months but <laughs> the signs were all there uh and why is just because i i dig the art 
the art is just cool. Is there anything else that needs colored? Okay, I think I got all the coloring done. Which now means we move on to shading. Fun fact, 80% of furry is an artist. Yeah. I can see that. We all want to see what our personas would look like if, if they were drawn. Drew Gran on your head? Oh! My grandfather, my papa. Okay. I straight up was about to forget to draw him. Alright. Uh, sketching. Alright. There we go. All right, so. The wiki about furry didn't do justice. I've never looked at the wiki for it. You should check it. I'll have to. I'll definitely have to. I've never drawn a squirrel before, so uh, let's keep that in mind. holding an acorn. Okay. I'm gonna erase his arms real fast. I can do that. Little fingies. Squirrel fingy. There we go. Beep. 
between now and my next stream. Wait. What if in a universe where furries... The furry wit... <laughs> I've wondered about that. Furries in people suits. Human sonas. What would it look like? It would be a weird world, wouldn't it? There we go. I'm just gonna vanish some stuff because okay, here we go. Inking. This is gonna go and get set real small. The world is not flat, the world is round. Alrighty. Who knows? <laughs> you also gotta ask, since we've established my dad would probably be an eagle, how does a squirrel and a bear make an eagle? And how does an eagle and a, and a pile of feces make a fox that has wings? Well, the eagle could explain the wings. And a raccoon. Strange world freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll go with that. All right. Time to start coloring things in. Gonna make his little fingers this color. Papa, what color squirrel would you want to be? Red squirrel. A red squirrel. Red squirrel. Huh. I'm gonna make him 
bit darker and a little less saturated. I'll look one up next time. He's such a small detail in this one. <laughs> I'll do him justice next time. Put a strap on it, does that make it better? I might look up one. I'm going to look up one on my phone, so for a brief moment I probably won't be able to see the chat. Where did my Google go? Oh, okay. No, I see where I went wrong. All right, let me fix it. I'm just looking at a fursona as a reference. And then if we go to the coloring, then I'll get the detail work done a bit nicer now. There we go. Nice, it looked like a demon horn for some reason. <laughs> yeah. All right, is this a bit better? <laughs> I think it's a bit better.
then down here I'm just gonna there we go Just gonna boop, boop. There we go. <laughs> Wee little grandfather. I just realized something. All right. I just need a moment. Because I don't want to have to like do shading on like multiple layers. So I'm just going to erase some line work, merge this down, and just call it good. Now for the long and arduous task of shading. It'll take no time to shade in Papa Squirrel. I think he's shaded.
All right. Shading is probably going to take a little bit of time. There are so many different bits that need shaded. Part of me kind of thinks maybe I shouldn't shade it, but I'm going to do it anyways. Try purple, but dark purple. Eh, next time. I definitely feel like I'm reaching that point where it's like, I just really want to be done with this. <laughs> 
but it's gonna be worth it in the end. Right. There we go. Should be fine. There we go. Yeah. No, I don't still meet my mom. I don't even fall. My bio mom, my bio mom. I don't even call my bio mom my mom. I don't know if you can hear it, but my grandfather's in the kitchen making food. <laughs> Pretty sure it's it's audible. This is a lot more effort than I realized it was going to be.
Yes, I can hear quite clearly. <laughs> they can hear you cooking food. Imagine one day your mom visit. You want your reaction. If my bio mom showed up out of the blue trying to visit me, I don't know, I'd probably be pretty upset. Her reaction would probably be as entitled as she always is. I'm your mom, you're supposed to love me. There's more to being a parent than physically creating the baby. You got to raise them and nurture them. Is this this a good way to kind of just cheese it? Please be a good way to cheese it. Oh. Yeah, I think there's a little bit that can be done to fix it. we go. Think you're becoming crazy from drawing paw? Well, I'm over here becoming crazy from shading. So, we are in the same party. At least we have company. Gonna just Yeah, that's a bit better. Plan for the rest of the week. I definitely plan to stream as often as I can, so yeah, I'm probably going to attempt to stream daily. So...
can't, qu I'm not quite sure how many art pieces I'll get done per stream, but it's going to be at least one. You know, color blend, color shadow, shadow blend, light blend, light warp, ambient light. Uh, some of that stuff, but, um. I'll probably, like, the more I learn, the more I probably will incorporate, unless it's something that just, like, I don't think is fun. Morning, Jax. Do you want to say hi to my chat? I'm going to show my older sibling uh, the progress I've made. I'm drawing a family portrait. Grandma's fursona is a bear and Papa wanted to be a squirrel. Okay. Are your tails floofy enough? Yep. <laughs> also, it's kind of funny. Grandma from went, went from being the shortest in the family to the tallest. <laughs> Why your leg in... Oh, my leg is in the, the fox's boob. Because I didn't think about the fact there was boob there. Yeah. I feel like I'm slowly losing my mind as I shade. Imagine drawing family but on Christmas Day. Maybe uh maybe at Christmas I'll draw that. Oh, your poor egg. <laughs> He's ruined his egg. Should fix that. I'm already at the point in it where I'm I'm drawing like I'm doing the shading. I think it's a little too late to fix the boob. Don't know how she's feeling and don't really care how she's feeling. Let's see how much Oh, one moment. I just realized there's no tail there. And here we go. I'm just gonna do that. And that. Have to go. But we'll send you what pics I got of later. Take it easy. Uh, well, I'll see you later, Hattie. Think she is regretting it, if not well. 
Yeah, I don't know that my bio mom regrets anything. Unless it somehow cost her money. I wonder... Can I use the select tool? What's that going to look like? Mm. I'm just going to go through like this real fast. And then I'm going to go through and make it look nicer. I wonder why she became like that. Meanwhile, your grandma is pure nice. Well, my grandma's on my dad's side of the family. just gave me a soda. Why is my leaf doing that? No, why did you do that? There we go. Figuring out how to eat it. I'll let some light in for a little bit. I'll let some light in for a little while. Gotta figure out how to eat what I made. Well, we tend to eat with our mouth. <clears throat> Didn't say they are rich. Please be good enough to use the fill tool. All right. Well, I think I know what Gizmo would provide as a solution.
don't say they are rich. My bio mom. She, uh, didn't come from money. But she desired money. Because he thinks you're going to give it to him. Good, I'm glad that worked. What the heck? Oh no, parts of this looks terrible. I feel like I'm making progress. Did I, is it done? No, the shading's not all the way done. I think I might be able to move on to shading my grandma now. Yeah, I'm gonna move on to shading my grandma. For that, I'm gonna use pink. Morning, Gran. Still working on the art. Did you know why children love them? Abuse parents, even they are abused. Snow. What? I don't like the cold and snow. Oh, 
not over. It's just about over. I do know that, you know, some people who do commit abuse were abused themselves, but my opinion is it's never an excuse. You know, we all have the option to end that cycle. Thank you, Jax. I might not be understanding your statement. Would you be able to clarify?
in their imagination, they think that they're a warrior, that's why. Ah. Well, if they're abusing their kids because they think they're a warrior, that's a real weird champ battle that they think they're fighting. I think I'm at the point where, like, shading is turning my brain to mush. That's just how child mindset works. Finally got, oh, for just one of the hands. Hopefully the other one goes well. Maybe it'll go faster. Let's try to retain our sanity. <laughs> did my back do that? Oh. My back hurts. Yeah, I'm just gonna color that in. Cool. You draw lying down. 
I draw scrunched up in a chair. I think I'm getting close to being done. I think I am arriving close to the end of this, with the exception of the background I just realized. Oh, God damn it. this on Facebook? Uh-uh. Not buying anything off of Facebook. What? Not buying off of Facebook. What about my filters for the vacuum? What? What about my vacuum cleaner filters? They're coming. That's what I'm just checking on and stuff. I check my eBay first. Oh, I think I'm getting closer to being done. On eBay again? Arrived in Lansing. Went from Grand Rapids. Well, Y'all might want to be careful what locations you be saying, though. I don't think they send that here. Al's. What? Al's mic is open. Are all think I'm done? Well, I can't help that. I don't really know. Where's your pen? I think I just got a little bit more to go. Oh, 
and it's freezing again. Why is it freezing? Yeah, I think I got it. I think I am finally done. I'm going to call that good enough at the very least. And... Did you get my guilt? Oh. Well, I could go ahead and draw in the cave background. I don't think I will. Just give it a nondescript uh, gray background and we'll say it's a cave. Sylvie. Yeah, thank you. It's a family portrait. <laughs> the bear is my grandmother. The squirrel is my grandfather. I am the raccoon. And the uh, fox with the three tails is my older sibling. You caught me just at the, at the end of it. <laughs> I asked Papa what he wanted his persona to be, and he said he wanted to be a squirrel. Ironically, my grandmother is the shortest person in my family, and I am the tallest person. I am now second shortest, <laughs> and my grandmother is the tallest now. The idea is that in this, my grandmother is, is taking a picture of us. She's taking a family selfie. And just now my brain went ahead and was like, hey, but uh, how will people... I'm gonna do something real fast. Let's see. Can I make it look like a social media picture? Maybe. Oh, I have a better idea. Way better idea I have. I think I have a much better idea. All right. Um, I'm gonna quickly make a photo template. Wait.
ad tag and your name in it. I think it's funny your grandparents is the highest and the smallest. Yes. Let's see, fit the canvas. And then we'll pop this here and this here. And then we put this here. this and then Time to add some clouds, if I can find them. There we go. Ah, there's clouds. Yeah, adding my tag and my name on it's a pretty decent idea too. See, I'm going to quickly look up what an Insta. I should know what an Instagram post looks like. Yes. I will now add in the social media stuff. Ah, my tablet is freezing. Why is it not letting me do it? Layering 
My brain died. Yes. Oh, I just realized something. Okay, I'm gonna merge those down. Uh, yeah, it's at Vesterberg. I think it's Church of Christ. <sighs> you know, he's lived there all his life in the Vesterberg area. Let's see, and one more detail, yes? One more detail? Is that it? Mm -hmm. No, he kept the big, the, the big two-story house that, uh, that Fossey had. And then uh, Tim and Teresa built a house right next door. And then my son bought that when they moved out of there. This is why I don't like... Uh, yeah, that should be good. Uh, Something happened to the fluff. Actually, um, if, um, see if I can find it here. On Facebook, someplace, uh, um, Teresa posted the obituary of a family with a picture. Yeah, a picture of him with the obituary. Yeah, I forgot to pull my stream back up. <gasps> what the fuck happened here? One moment. Ha ha ha, I fixed it.
There we go. And then I'll pop that there. Insert a photo. Hmm. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, I will. I love you too. Bye bye. Judy. Did I really a bad again all night again? I don't think my stream needs to know about Judy's diarrhea. I don't like that one either. Oh my. Yes. This is definitely what I want. <laughs> no. What about syrup? Blob. No. Tinderbox. I'll go with the studio pen. No. I'm gonna go with this pen. No, I'll just type it in. Add text.
we go. And the art is done! Oh, that took forever! My back popped. Oh, and it kept popping. Alright. Well, that is the art. And everyone is up and about and having conversations now. So I'm probably going to end stream. Yeah, I'm done. I made it look like an Instagram post. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably be ending stream now. Seems like the rest of the family's starting their day. But, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all again tomorrow because... I'm going to be streaming again then. So, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I'll probably have uh, more plans on the art. But um, until then, peace.